PhD student, academic conferences can be a bit daunting. So while I'm here at the Cosmo 19 conference, which is a cosmology conference in Aachen, Germany, I've come up with five tips to help you get the most out of an academic conference. I'm going to give you one every day I'm here, so let's go for day one of the conference. Tip number one, have a look at the conference program before you head into it. Work out if there's anyone whose work is particularly relevant to you and anyone who you want to talk to ahead of time. Try and get into a conversation with them. Don't be shy, it can be very daunting wanting to go up to someone you don't know to ask them about their work or to say how much you like their work, but it's really worth it. You can get into some really good conversations and if they're gonna be rude to you, you don't wanna to talk to them anyway, so at least you'll end up with a funny story to tell other PhD students you know. You can say, I went up to this famous scientist or whatever and they were completely rubbish. Come up with a question beforehand or come up with what you're gonna say beforehand so you can just rock up and say, hey, I really like your work. I have a question about blah. It can be really beneficial. Make sure you give them your name and not just your name, your full name when you introduce yourself. That's really important. Then they can totally come find you or they can email you if they have you know, anything they want to say to you. Read the program, work out who you want to meet and don't be shy about it. Just get in there and get involved. Tip number two is to try and be as social as you can while you're at these conferences. A professor I know always says that social is science. And what he means is that some of the best science discussions at a conference happen on the social activities. This could be going to dinner with people from the conference, talking over coffee, going to the pub, going to any social activities that the conference itself puts on for the attendees. A conference that I've been to has just put on scavenger hunts and tours of the city that we're in. And not only is this really fun, but it's a great way to meet new people. And it's also a really good place to talk about science. Some of the best science really does get done at the pub, over dinner, on a hike. Going to talks is very important and you do learn a lot of science by doing that but often the best discussions happen outside of the lecture theatre and that's a really important thing to learn while you're at a conference. Tip number three is if there's a poster session at your conference make sure you go to it and make sure you talk to a lot of people. It's a really good way to get a lot of information about a lot of different science really fast. So this is just to be in a big hall, hopefully there'll be drinks, maybe some food. People will have posters up and they'll be stood by their posters hopefully and it'll tell you briefly about their project <laughs> and you can go and ask them about their work. You can find out a lot of stuff really quickly and it's great to make lots of collaborations. So often people will come up to you if they're interested in your work, if you're presenting a poster and ask to collaborate with you or suggest things that you could do in your future work. So it can be very productive for your work as well, as well as being really fun and often there's free drinks. Quick bonus tip I forgot to mention while I was filming this. If you're presenting a poster and you're traveling a long way to the conference, ask your university if they're able to print your poster on cloth instead of paper. Most universities offer this nowadays and normally you don't even have to pay extra to get it done. This means traveling is a lot easier because you're able to just fold up your poster and pack it with your clothes in your suitcase rather than having to carry around a big poster tube while you're traveling. Sorry for the interruption and back to the next tip in Germany. Tip number four is to remember that you don't have to stick to the conference timetable. I think this becomes more and more important to remember the longer you're at a conference. If you're at a one day conference, maybe you should try and go to most of the talks. But if you're at a week long conference like I am now, sometimes it can be important to just take some time for yourself. If you need to stay in bed late one day and get some sleep, that's fine, do it. If you need to head home early one day just to take some time for yourself, that's completely fine. Especially when you're on a long conference, it's really important to look after your mental health. So if you need an afternoon just to have a nap or just to be on your own for a bit, because it can be, it can be very tiring meeting so many people at these conferences. You know, you have to make dozens of first impressions, you wanna make good first impressions. So it can be really tiring and it can be very, very draining. If you need some time for yourself, take some time out. Also, if you meet someone that's interested in your work and they suggest talking during some of the sessions that are on, that's fine. You can miss sessions to make collaborations. You don't have to go to every talk. If you go to every talk on a five day conference from nine till six in the evening, you're not gonna learn anything from all of those talks. Sometimes it's a better use of your time to be more relaxed and more rested so that when you do go to the talks that are relevant, you can get a lot more from them because you can pay attention a lot easier. I can attest to this tip because it's day four of the conference, it's nearly 10 o'clock and I'm still in my hotel room. Just remember, you're not obliged to go to every single talk at the conference. Even if your university or your institute have paid to send you to this conference, they would rather you get a lot more out of the sessions you go to than force yourself to go to every session and be miserable and not learn anything. My final tip is to keep in contact with the people you meet at conferences. I don't mean you have to talk every day, but occasional emails about science is really good. 
You can ask about the science they're doing when they publish papers, or you can ask their opinion about work that you're interested in doing, or work that you are doing, to try and keep that contact alive. Remember, these are people that might want to hire you in the future, so any little edge that you could have over the competition is good. Now, being friends with someone doesn't mean you'll get the job, but it can't hurt. The chances are, when you start going to a lot of conferences and going more regularly, you'll start seeing the same people again and again. So having a, a group of contacts that you know at these conferences makes it a lot more fun, makes it a lot more enjoyable, and means that you can discuss science a lot more often with people that you know. So it's really nice to keep these contacts and make sure you're friends with people that work on the same things as you. What I hope these tips are telling you overall is that going to conferences is not necessarily about learning specific science things while you're there. It's more about meeting people. It's the contacts you make rather than the science you learn on the spot that's the important thing about going to a conference. In my opinion, in a year's time, you're not gonna remember the talks that you sat in, but you're gonna remember the people you met, and they'll remember you rather than your talk. Don't be disheartened if you are giving a talk, me saying that no one's gonna remember it. They'll remember you if you're enthusiastic, if you're engaging, and they'll remember you more if you interact with them afterwards or during your talk. There's research that shows that if you give a talk, the part that people remember are the questions they ask you. They don't even necessarily remember the answers you give them, but that interaction is really important for helping people remember who you are. I hope these tips have helped you if you're going to your first academic conference soon, or if you're nervous about an upcoming conference. And if you've got any questions, or well, even if it's more of a comment, please leave it down below and I'll see what I can do. Until then, stay safe team, I'll see you soon. Bye!